Hey guys, my name is Louise and I am a qualified heavy vehicle and plant mechanic. This is the second episode in my little series of being a first year apprentice and this time I want to talk about asking questions. So last time we talked about being the most least experienced person in the room, in the workshop, and asking questions is the quickest way to get experience. Experience from other people. So pretty much you want to ask questions to draw out what they've learnt from their years on the tools or years in wherever you are. So you want to make sure that every time that something comes up that you're not quite sure about, ask. You know, the worst thing that people are going to say is, you know, no, I think you'd, you'd better work it out by pulling it apart yourself. You're not going to cause any damage. Go for your life. Or they might get a little bit kind of anxious and nervous if you ask them a question, if they're not quite confident giving you the answer. So they might not know the answer. So don't get disheartened if someone kind of backs out of a question that you ask them because they might not know the answer themselves. All right. And another thing that might happen is not everyone is good at teaching kind of thing. So you might ask a question and you might not get a very good explanation or something in return because that person hasn't kind of become a teacher in themselves. They can't explain things quite well. So don't get disheartened by that either. All right. The only silly question is the one that you don't ask. All right. So the main thing is go in, ask questions. Why does this happen? Why do we do that? Why are we doing this job? How did you work that out? You know, and even things where, you know, you might be a bit quiet on the tools or you might not be doing much and you might just be sitting there watching and ask people, you know, what's the biggest job you've been on? What's the job that you're most proud of? How long have you been a mechanic? How long have you been a carpenter? That kind of thing to get, you know, get to know your tradie as well as becoming more open and knowing more about them. Once you know more about them, then they're going to find it really easy to give you quick bits of information. You know, sometimes you might learn something from someone you're not even working with. You might be doing a job and someone might be walking past and being like, hey, mate, why don't you try and put something here, you know, support this this way, you know, don't forget to lube up that part, that kind of thing. Once you've built up that kind of, you know, question answer, they know that you want the answers because you're asking the questions. They might give you the answers before you even ask the questions which would be amazing and something that will build up as you ask questions over time. So first year apprentice, make sure you're asking questions and anyone. Look, I've been eight, nine years in the trade. I'm a teacher. God, I ask so many questions. I feel like I ask more questions now than ever. So asking questions is so important to get that experience and to get that knowledge as quickly as possible. All right, guys, congratulations again on getting your apprenticeship. Keep on killing it, keep on learning, keep an open mind. This is just the beginning of something so big for you guys. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode.